Hey everyone, you're watching Rye Reviews. Today on Rye Reviews, I'm going to be talking about the new mega smash hit sensational Broadway show, Bright Star. I had the honor and privilege of reviewing this new amazing musical Saturday night at the Court Theater on West 48th Street. This show, which is unlike any other show that I have seen, is written by Grammy Award winners Steve Martin and Edie Brickell. But let me tell you a little bit more about the show before I go on, so you can get a gist of what is happening. From Grammy Award winner Steve Martin and Edie Brickell comes Bright Star, the new Broadway musical that brings a fresh breeze to the spring theater season, says Charles Ishwood of the New York Times. Directed by Tony winner Walter Bobby and inspired by a real event, this fresh new original musical tells a sweeping tale of love and redemption set against the rich backdrop of the American South in the 1920s and 40s. Carmen Cusick stars as literary editor Alice Murphy, whose relationship with a young soldier just home from World War II awakens her longing for the child she once lost. Haunted by their unique connection, Alice sets out on a journey to understand her past and what she finds has the power to transform both of their lives forever. Propelled by an ensemble of onstage musicians and dancers, the story unfolds as a rich tapestry of emotion beautiful melodies, and powerfully moving performances. An uplifting theatrical journey that holds you tight in its grasp, Bright Star is as refreshingly genuine as it is daringly hopeful. I, of course, cannot begin to tell you how unbelievably uplifting and incredible this show is. Out of all of the shows I have seen in this past year until now, this is by far my favorite and best musical ever. Bright Star is special because it is the only musical on Broadway this season whose story is from an original idea. No other musical this season has that. The Bright Star cast has some of the best and most talented performers Broadway has to offer. And what I love mostly is that they're not household names, they're not Broadway A-listers or Hollywood A-listers. They are true works of genius intertwined with the best acting and singing ability on stage. Leading lady Carmen Cusack makes her Broadway debut with the show. But she is no stranger to the stage. She has been seen in London's West End as Fantine in Les Miserables and on tour of Phantom of the Opera in the United Kingdom as Christine Daae. She's most notably known for her portrayal as Alphaba in Chicago, the first national tour, and the Melbourne production of Wicked. Carmen Cusack is an angel brought to us from heaven in this role. She excites, amazes, and shocks the audience. Her big voice is both soft and rustic, which blends great for this bluegrass type of musical. She is Alice, and delivers the most toughest and emotional performance I've ever seen in a show. She brings you into her world of love, loss, and redemption. A.J. Shively, who stars as Billy Kane, is handsome and stunningly talented all at the same time. The connection that he gives between him and Alice Murphy in the show really feels real and genuine and brought to life by him. He delivers the show's title song in the third song of the show called Bright Star. He delivers this inspirational and uplifting song that really makes you feel great about yourself and look at yourself and say, I can reach for my bright star and anything's possible. Of course, there were some other people to mention as well. Emily Paget and Hannah Ellis are two semi-new fresh faces to the Broadway scene, having been seen in a few other shows. They are just as extraordinary as the leading lady herself. Emily delivers the toe-tapping, knee-slapping song in Act 2 called Another Round, which will leave your spirits high and definitely ready to dance on the bars and tables when you go out to get a drink after the show. Her and Hannah's voices blend so well and nicely together, and yet so beautiful. They deliver a strong message and sound so incredible. So now let me tell you a little bit about this set. It's truly a work of art. The set pieces are simply done, yet magnificently maneuvered so that they can f ebb and flow easily across the stage. And what's even cooler is the orchestra is right on stage with the actors as compared to in the pit. Um, it's placed inside the wooden 
arc-shaped house, which is used throughout the show and moves all throughout the stage. In fact, the cast uses the house often. Um, Alice mostly, as she runs through it and it portrays different scenes, but this house is, you know, one point down stage and center, then it's moved up top, and it just, it flows so well. because Bright Star will pull at every emotion you have, and I promise you, you will leave with a new outlook on life and a new Broadway show that you can put in your books, and will never doubt what seems to be the impossible, because the impossible may just be possible. Bright Star is currently running at the Court Theater on West 48th Street in New York City, New York. For tickets, visit brightstarthemusical.com. Run. I repeat, run. Do not walk. Do not mosey. Do not meander. Run to see this new musical of the year. I am telling you folks, you really do not know what you are missing. Also, make sure you continue to keep up with me, Rymai, ridethenewsguy.com, and check out all my latest interviews and exclusive extras and footage that you can't find anywhere else. Check out my Rye Review section, my interviews, and even take a look at some of the news that we have going on as well. You can visit me at www.rythenewsguy.com and make sure you also keep up with me on my social networks. My Twitter handle is at RyeTheNewsGuy, Instagram at RyeTheNewsGuy, and Facebook is official Rye the News Guy. Thank you so much again for watching Rye Reviews. I so hope this review helped you make your decision to go see this new Broadway musical. I cannot wait to bring you my next review of whatever show I see next. And continue to be the bright stars that you are in this world.